So what's good everybody, it's Kyle's Closet here, back with another video. I got three outfits that I want to show y'all that I wore for the week, and also I got a clothing haul pickup from Under the Gift. This is not sponsored by them, I just rock with their brand a lot real heavy. I told y'all I was going to stay real consistent, especially with coming in to 1k subscribers, and also 2024 is coming up, so I got to do my due diligence to make sure I give y'all the best content as possible. So my clothing haul pickup from Under the Gift is going to be at the end of the video, but they had a whole Instagram sale. Everything was up to 70% off, and I got a a lot of pieces for them and I also got some basketball shoes so stay tuned so for the first outfit of the week I did wear all black I've been wearing black a lot lately I don't know why I'm not in no type of mood or anything I just love wearing black because of the wearability it's easy for anybody to wear and you can honestly put on fits that are expensive or cheap and it still kind of look the same but this black hoodie right here is a twisted fingers hoodie by home film they call it that because of the front obviously and also you still have your twisted fingers also on the back of the hoodie. So for the bottoms, I did decide to throw in these black cargo pants also by Han Film. Um, these pants will have metal buttons and on the buttons it will be debossed with the Han Film branding. You also get an elastic waistband to help if you don't want to wear a belt or not. And also you'll get pockets on the front of the cargo pants instead of the side. And you'll also get two pockets on the back of the pants. So you honestly could put anything in the pockets on these cargos cause you can never have too many pockets. And for the shoes, I did decide to throw in the Chicago 2s. Just cause they came out a whole year ago and kind of the hype, all that stuff died around 2s. I just wanted to kind of bring these out. I could have worn any other shoe with this outfit, but I just wanted to put on an underdog shoe. And you can see with this outfit how everything came out. I did add a little accessories with my chain, but all black, you can never go wrong with it. If you don't have nothing else to wear, just throw in a black outfit. Nobody ever say anything. Trust me. For the second outfit, I decided to add a lot more color. Now, I did feature this hoodie in my previous video, and this yellow hoodie is by Reese Cooper. It does have a meaningful statement on the back of it. That's honestly why I like the brand of Reese Cooper. But it states on the back, what happens to the land happens to the people. And by all means, we all know what that means. Make sure you take care of your environment, your loved ones, especially with the holidays going on. But let's see the rest of this outfit. To go along with the hoodie, I decided to throw on these light wash jeans by Diesel. I wear Diesel a lot, and if you don't follow me on my social media at Kyle's Closet, you can miss a lot of outfit inspiration. That's what it really I do, and I also have a lot of sneaker content on my page also. I'm a sneakerhead at art, but fashion comes along with it. Um, but these jeans are going to have some discretion on the pockets, on the front and the back, and you'll also have some discretion on the leg of the jeans. And these jeans right here, a diesel, are made in the Italy line. I am basically just going to have some more premium material, some nicer cotton, and some of the craftsmanship is going to be a, a little bit better than your standard diesel jeans. For the shoes, I decided to pull out a pair of Air Max 90s. I love Air Max 90s a lot. These were my go-to sneakers in high school due to the price point, and also Jordan's always selling out. We know how that goes. But I got these shoes for $50 and I had to pull them out. I haven't worn them all year, so I had to give these shoes some love. And I think the outfit came out pretty good. A little bit earth tone colors. And with the theme of the outfit and what this hoodie is saying on the back of it, I think everything complemented each other well. But let me know what you think in the comments below. For the last outfit of this video that I wore for the week, I decided to throw in a denim jacket. Um, This denim jacket is made by Menace Los Angeles. Um, I do wear a lot of brands based out of Los Angeles. I think I should move there. Maybe one day. But this jacket will have a lot of discretion on it, and the discretion on the jacket is the Menace M logo embedded inside of the discretion on it. It's a busy print, and this outfit is going to be kind of busy, but I think I wear it well. With the outfit being so busy, I threw on this blank tee by Elwood. It is cropped, and it will have a road hem at the bottom of it. But it will have some stitching along the bottom to make sure it's reinforced so it doesn't overroll. And it does have some description going along the collar. But anytime you have on a busy fit, just try to have an undershirt or something to try to tone everything down. Now the statement piece of this outfit has to be these acid wash jeans by Minish Los Angeles also. Now these jeans are extremely heavy and that's due to all the patches on the jeans. The jeans have patches on the front and also everywhere on the back. And I kind of just want to step out of my comfort zone, just wear something just all over the place and see how it comes out. Sometimes you have to do that and you'll feel more comfortable going on if you're trying to find what your style is. But that tee that I did throw on, it kind of made the outfit tone down just a little bit. Now, as you can see, I did throw on my black ascender boots by Represent just to kind of give it that more rugged look. I didn't wear any sneakers because sneakers are very busy and I just kind of wanted to wear some boots or something that it also made the fit just look more calm with it already what it is. Now let's get into this clothing haul. I love opening up new stuff. I got a pair of shoes and a lot of clothes. And for reference, I am six feet tall, 205 pounds on a very, very good day. 
and the size I will be wearing are a size large or extra large for a representation. So for the first piece that I'm gonna be opening up is this blue uh, shirt by Under the Gift. I do have the black tee model as well, but I just like how the shirt fit on me on the black shirt. So I had to double up and get another color. But on the front of the shirt, you're gonna just have just your normal uh, Under the Gift branding and your car um, across the bottom of it. And I will say this shirt does fit kind of boxy on you. So make sure you stay your regular size. For the second piece, I also did decide to go with another black shirt. It never has too many black tees to be honest. Um, but this shirt is going to have a little bit more design print on it. And it's going to have something on the front and also on the back of the shirt. And this one is in a size large. Once again, it's going to be a boxy fit. But y'all let me know which shirt you like the best. I like this black shirt a lot. And it would be a good representation. So when I look at it, the W on the back of the shirt is actually stitched in. So that's another good detail that Under the Gift does give us. And like I said, I got this shirt for only... 15 bucks retail price on it was $50, but I just caught it on sale like I buy everything else for the third piece I did decide to get a polo shirt um, Also by under the gift and let me tell you I gotta say this shirt is very heavy um, It's not it's not nothing crazy It is a medium um, weight to it and it does have stitching going along all the rest of the shirt um, I can say the quality on the stitching is pretty good. It's nothing crazy. It's nothing like spectacular or anything like that but i can see that the stitching on this is pretty good now the white on the shirt i would say on the collar shirt is nothing like a polo shirt this is more like a rugby shirt it does have like a fleece material um on the inside of it so it's definitely meant to be worn like in your cold falls or winter time for the last two pieces of clothing items that i did get i decided to get two new jackets i did need some new jackets in my collection being that i'm in florida i don't get a lot of times to wear a lot of heavy jackets so the ones i do get i gotta make sure they're worth it now for the jacket by under the gift it will be in this tan color and on the collar it's going to be like in a micro corduroy it's not like the thick corduroy that you're used to seeing and that's going to be in your brown and now for the zipper, you will get like the laces that comes like on a baseball glove. I played baseball in college and that was a really good touch to add on to this jacket. Didn't know it came with that. And the zipper is made by YKK and we know that's a high quality zipper. You can't go wrong with a workwear jacket. So it's always good to add one to the collection. Now the last piece is going to be the suede jacket. It's not real suede or anything like that. So don't get your hopes up. But it is a very good suede um, to have. And on the stitching, I didn't know this jacket actually had... Um, design on the back of it and i'll show you that but on the front of the jacket like i said it is made out of suede you know the zipper once again is going to be made out of ykk and on the patch on the left chest it will be under the gift and that is a panther and on the back of it you will have a inner city um honor stitched in on the back of the jacket so like i said under the gift will have a lot of details on their clothing and they will not break the bank so if you're looking for a good streetwear brand um this would be a good brand to add to your collection for the last piece of this clothing pickup haul i did decide to get some shoes with under the gift did a collaboration with jordan brand we know that russell Westbrook is a part of jordan brand so these shoes are going to have a lot of under the gift pieces to it and on the top of the box lid you get our jordan under the gift russell Westbrook, 1988 um that is what year russell Westbrook was born so that's a good way to commemorate him and like i say russell Westbrook, he maybe can you know get his shine back there's nothing wrong with him now i still pick him in my top 10 you know point guards in the league he just got to be on a good team that play his style but these shoes right here are a good shoe i only got them for 45 bucks and i gotta say russell Westbrook, he's one of those players that's on team jordan that a lot of people may not know or even forgot. So for me to get a shoe um, of the Why Nots Jordans by him, these was a good collection. These will have a lot more premium materials than your regular Why Nots, especially being with the price of retailing at 150, you're gonna get some suede overlays and some leather pieces going along the sneaker. So when I do go hoop, I gotta definitely pull these out. Man, if y'all made it this far into the video, y'all are some real MVPs. If you like the video, make sure you share it to everybody, subscribe to my channel, and also hit that like button. Once again, we're going to stay very consistent with these outfit videos and sneaker news. Let me know if you want to see anything else, though. But as always, no more needs to be said.